everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I'm back to do another tutorial and this time we are going to create this cute little basket that I had previously showed you guys on my last video. And we're going to create this using the Martha Stewart scalloped medallion punch. So you want to take your scalloped medallion punch. You're also going to need um, a circle die or if you have a punch uh, you need to have a circle cut at two and a half inch and what I used was this Sizzix nesting circles and you're gonna need a two and a half inch and a two inch or two, two and a half inch is fine. Okay. So this is a two and a half inch, I believe. All right, so let's get started. First of all, you're gonna need um, also some paper. Okay, and you wanna cut your paper. This is just 65 pound cardstock from Michaels. You're gonna cut it at two inches and this is eight and a half inches. It's the eight and a half by 11. So you want to cut at two inches. So get your trimmer and cut at two inches. And then for the handle, go ahead and cut a one inch strip. So that's going to be one inch by eight and a half. And you're probably going to trim this down a little bit, depending on how, how, uh, long you want your handle to be. Okay. So then you want to take your punch and you want to open that up and you're going to line your paper at this um, line here. The first line to the left that's where you're going to start your punch. So you're going to put your paper right there line it up on the left line and punch and that way you get a full scallop instead of you know half a scallop and you're gonna just keep going and scallop all your edges just one side and in total, you're going to end up having a total of 17 scallops. And I'm just letting you know that information in case you, you're you using scraps and maybe you're going to, you know, maybe you don't have a full 8.5 inch strip. You could use, you know, two strips if you want. Okay, so there you go. And just trim off any excess. Sometimes I don't punch it to like completely perfect, but you could always stick it back in there if you want. And just follow your guide just to kind of clean it up on the edge. Okay, so there. Then what you want to do is score. I'm going to score every half inch. So take out your scoreboard. And the best way to do this is to keep the straight part flushed. Okay, again, it's there. And make sure that your scallops, the space between each scallop that your uh, the groove is uh, you know right right there in the middle of the two scallops so I will actually start from the bottom where the scallop is and then go up and I think that's the easiest way so that you know you're lined up and if you're not then you could always reline it realign I should say okay and so just go ahead and score 
every half inch. Okay. Then you want to turn it this way and you're going to score at the one and a half inch mark and that's going to create your little flap so that you can attach the bottom part okay now now you need your scissors you're going to cut this first rectangle on the bottom if you can see that you're going to cut this off And the reason you're cutting that off is because when you attach the, the ends, see if I can do that correctly, when you attach the ends, you don't have two little flaps. You only need the one because that's going to be glued like that. You're going to overlap that. Okay, and then so that the bottom part sits nicely, um, you want to cut at an angle okay you're gonna do that V shape again so you're gonna from where this score line is to the left and to the right of it you're gonna cut at an angle like that just a little bit okay so again from that scallop I mean scallop from the score line there you're going to just cut a sliver off to the right and to the left of it and just do this all the way. how it's gonna look and then you want to uh, fold your score line here on the bottom just on the bottom you're not gonna accordion fold the rest of it okay and then you want to put that over or under whichever doesn't matter okay so Hot glue is the best for this because it's just, it'll stick faster as long as you line it up nicely. Okay, so that it looks seamless. All right, and that's how the bottom's going to look like.
isn't that pretty? And it's perfectly, perfectly round. Okay, and then you just have to put your handle. So um, the way I did my handle, I just used a decorative scissors. It's up to you. You don't have to. If you'd rather just, you know, use a trim, you can put a trim over. You can make this a little bit narrower and put a trim over it. I'm just going to go ahead and use my scalloped scissors here because that's what I have. Um, and try to cut straight if I can. <laughs> okay. Just kind of hard. Okay, and then you do the other side. And again, you can make your handle any which way. I mean, you can make it wider, you can make it more narrow. Whatever your preference is, this is your basket, so do what you like. Okay, I'm just going to cut this whole thing. I don't think I'm going to need this whole strip, but again, it just depends on how tall you want. You know, if you're going to put a bunch of stuff in there, maybe the taller is nicer. I'm going to cut mine just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. I think for my, this one right here, I think I only used a six inch strip. But this one, I think I'm going to make it just a little bit taller. Just a little bit. Okay, so then you want to just um, glue that. I glue mine on the inside so you don't see it. It's up to you. Again. It's up to you. So I'm going to put a little glue here. Just that much. And I kind of like, like it right there. And then put glue on the outside again. And let's see, it'll go right there. I hope I'm in frame. And that's it. And then you can decorate. You can decorate the outside. However you want. If you have a, a stamp, like a bunny stamp, you can put, you know, or you can put the grass. I really like the grass look, so that's what I'm going to do here on the bottom. Okay. But that's it. Easy peasy. And then here you can just put... I don't think I have... Here's a blue bow, but that's... You can just put a bow right there and a bling on top. Okay, but that's how you would decorate it. Of course, you can decorate this any way you want. So that is my share for today. So I hope you guys like it and you give it a try. And um, let me know how yours come out. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.